Wonderful people, viewers and subscribers, you're welcome back again. This is the platform where you will continue getting undiluted truth. And update will go open your eyes. And also unlock your sense to start thinking and reasoning. To understand that what I've been telling you, that politicians in Nigeria, especially these ones that call themselves the politicians or political parties in power, have weaponized poverty and hunger. That is how they have succeeded in recycling themselves and power. This time, our torchlight is still on the man. Tinibu. Tinibu. Hey, you know, go better for these people. We won't sell this back market. Give Nigerians. Or you could not watch crowd of people that came because of hunger and poverty around Tinibu's residence. In front of Tinibu's house. Look at beggars. Beggars in front of Tinubu's house, December 24th, 2022. Isn't this just crazy? Crazy in front of Tinubu's house. And I'm driving, I'm not walking. Oh my god, unbelievable. Oh, when I see him. Tell me how these people cannot easily be manipulated. Let me tell you, once you are hungry, you are desperate. And this thing will lock up. You are thinking faculty, will lock up. That is how these politicians have been manipulating the people. That is how they are getting the numbers they are getting on their political rallies. That is how they are getting people they use to rig election. That is how they are getting people who do political targets for them. That is how they have been manipulating the Nigerian people, including Africa, not just in Nigeria, it happens everywhere. But you see this PDP and APC in Nigeria. Even APC, they have magnified this whole madness to the next level. To be honest with you, they have weaponized poverty and hunger. How will I tell these people, these people that are gathered in Tinubu's resident, to come out, to come out from there? That this man is the source of their problem, is the source of their hunger. They are, they contributed to the misery they are facing today. They cannot afford to buy food. That is why you see them there. Most of them are aged people whom their children, whom they are supposed to be benefiting from today, are jobless. That is why you see them there. These are some of the pensioners that have retired and didn't get their pension. They are hungry. They are going there to get food. How can I convince them that these people that are looking up to are the source of their problem when they are hungry and poor? You see, they have weaponized poverty and hunger. But I will keep speaking, not to these people, but to those average ones who could at least co consider one meal a day to please Continue to sensitize as little as possible. Continue to uphold yourself. Do the needful. Collect your PVC. Let us vote. Because there are a greater number of people you see in this level of life in Nigeria. More than you that are, can afford one square meal, as they call it. There are many millions of poor people like this. And these are the people the politicians are looking up to to manipulate again and get themselves back to power. You see, in all of it, there are a lot of work to be done, a lot of sensitization to be done. Please help us share this video. Let us continue to take this message to them until they realize that they are victims of bad governance and their source of their problem are these people they go to. Well, I can ask them, collect whatever you want to collect from them. Eat whatever you can eat from the crumbs that fall from their table out of the stolen wealth that would have made your lives better. Collect it, but vote against them. That is just the bottom line. And I will pray and continue to pray this prayer. And thank God, God has been answering it. That God will continue to punish anyone or any people who want to work to bring this, this, this punishment upon Nigerian people. This calamity, they want to bring upon Nigerians this calamity of APC government. May God continue to punish them. Say amen. Because God, they answer our prayer. And this is one of the testimonies. 25th December, Wahala. Look at this one. Oh. You will like saying that FEC campaign office be this one. Oh. Eh? He don't burn just today, 25th of December. Oh. That's all we just see him. Nah, 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 furniture. Walker Road. See him. Nah, 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 nah. This one just happened today. Oh. 
and uh, APC campaign office. The cause of the fire incident, me, I don't know. But when I come back, I will verify more of the uh, information as it happened. Now, so I saw it too. I just saw it. Mm -hmm. And I can tell you, though I'm not sure of the cause of it, whether or not God sent thunder and striking in to Munye that place or could set that place on fire. Because these are where they are gathering. Wherever they are gathering to frustrate the lives of Nigerian people, to impose these elements in the name of failed governance upon Nigerians again. May fire continue to visit them one after the other. They submit them one after the other. That is just, if you believe in this prayer, it is very effective. Oh, keep sharing this video. I'm sorry now. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Drop your comments. I want to have your opinion on this. Stay safe. Bye-bye for now.